Somebody getting a fucking fade ran over there. Jesus Christ. Blocky Chan. <laughs> he <a> fucking ass beat. <laughs> Oopsie. Do you need my deck? That's see, that's what you need. Let see, you need my deck. You do not want this ass beat, and I swear to God, you don't. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro, because you really don't want this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, keep it pushing, buddy. All right. I'm gonna preface this, right? This is all just what I found has worked for me. I, I am not knowledgeable in this game. I'm far from even a good player, a decent player. Uh, this is literally just what I found works for me over, you know, the five videos, you know, whatever, 30 hours I've got on the game so far. Um, I highly recommend trying out different schools, seeing if they've got a deck that you like. That's where I got a lot of this deck from. I don't know what the school is called. I'll definitely look and see if I can put it in the description. I will try and find that out for you guys, but in case I don't, I'll try and make a school of my own. That way uh, you guys can join that and get the deck yourselves. But it would be for PC only. Just keep that in mind. First things first, I do fight Windfall. Uh, I haven't tried all of the other styles out. It is by far the most entertaining out of the ones that I've used. Uh, it's basically based around uh, pairing, dodging, all of that good stuff. First one that I chose and I like it the most. I don't know if this deck works better with another style. Uh, Drunken, I know some people like to use. Uh, there's Cult, I think it's called, the pairing one. That works pretty well. Um, but I would really just figure out what works best for you. Uh, stats, I don't think any of this matters. Um, I fought people with, like, you know, two prestigious above me and you know kicked their ass i fought you know a level 15 and got touched up so not sure how much this matters this is how i've broken mine down uh, i think you're supposed to do it according to your combat style you know um, improves mainly dexterity so i would assume you go through dexterity for the moves if that makes sense uh again there's always going to be somebody more qualified than me to tell you about this i highly recommend going and watching another guide there we go. All right, the deck. So this is what I'm currently on. I don't know if the game is still getting updates. So I don't know if there is a meta that is shifted. Uh, I say that, but this is probably never meta in the first place. It's really just a deck that is prevalent on spamming abilities. Um, you just want to keep yourself in priority. I don't know how familiar most of you guys are with fighting games. Um, there's a lot of different things, you know, Hit stun, you know, your startup frames, your recovery frames. I highly recommend going and looking up a guide. It'll explain it way better than I ever could. To keep things simple, this is a deck that focuses heavily on low startup and low recovery. I don't do nearly as much damage, but for, you know, a brainless player like me, I'm able to keep swinging, uh, which, you know, works wonders for me and people around my level. When you're fighting at a lower level like I am, feints are significantly less used. Um, fainting just being when you cancel an attack and it gives you the little shadow animation, I guess you could call it. You know, that. Those are very, very uh, common. The higher that you get, just because, you know, people have a better idea of what they're doing. You can't just constantly swing out moves. But for, you know, the people around my level or, you know, lower than me, uh, this deck should help you out, you know, fighting people around your skill level. Obviously, when you go to build your own deck, I wouldn't recommend copying everything. I would just, you know, kind of take what applies to you. Obviously, some of you guys won't have the moves to make this deck exactly. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what you should replace those with. I'm also not entirely sure how to get all these moves. Like I said, a lot of these come from, you know, the three schools that I've been in for the my 50 levels. And I just kind of built upon my deck with what I got from them. So highly recommend joining schools, getting their moves. You know, you can switch up. If you want to join a school for their mask, you can do that. Obviously, when you fight AIs, I know there's little guys that you can, you know, go search on Google or go on YouTube. Basically, they'll break down which AIs have what moves. That way you can just kind of farm them. 
Uh, for you, those of you that don't know, when you dodge a move, uh, you build up XP towards learning it. I don't know if it's only dodging, but for Windfall, whenever I use my active, I get XP towards learning the move. Once you defeat the opponent, then you claim all the XP. So that is one thing that is very important. If you don't beat the enemy, you don't get the XP. At least I think that's how it was explained to me. Uh, if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me down below. You know, once you feel comfortable with the amount that you gain, feel free to kill the enemy and it'll give you a decent amount of progress towards learning whatever move it is that you want. And I'll, honestly, I can just throw up screenshots on the screen um, just showing what each move is called. I don't know what is best for different positions. Um, you know, like what stance you want to finish in. Uh, that is, again, something that you've got to investigate on your own. I'm sorry that I can't help you with that. Realistically, there's tons of great guides out there if you just look up how to build a deck on Absolver. I'm sure there's tons of people that can help you way better than I could. I do have one piece of advice that's just make sure that your your deck has got a lot of options. What I mean by that is you don't want too many high moves, uh, high just being where it's going to strike at. So to my knowledge, there's low, mid and high, just like most fighting games. Speaking from Windfall's perspective, uh, if somebody has a deck of mostly highs, so, you know, a kick like this or a kick like that, it's very easy, you know, by the third round to know when to, you know, duck under those. So if you do go to build your own deck, I think it's very important to make sure you've got, you know, a decent amount of highs, a decent amount of lows, and then obviously your mids. I don't know how important armored moves are. Uh, they seem to work wonders against me just because, you know, brain dead player. Uh, there are some moves that track. Uh, there's moves like this. If you look at the armor symbol, I think the game will explain it to you. Uh, it stops charging attacks, so, you know, slower punches. Um, and it drains the guard meter much more. Also has the ability to break uh, the cult absorb. I'm not sure how prevalent cult is in the game right now, but... And there's tons of them in the game if you just look at the symbol. They'll show up on the bottom right of every move. With that being said, I hope this video helps you. It's gonna be very short. Like I said, I'm not the most knowledgeable. I'll answer whatever questions you guys may have, but I highly recommend looking into somebody more experienced because they could explain this way better than I could. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.